What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. Today, I've got a treat for you. We're looking at one of the largest product reviews I have done to date. And that comes from Barbudo Beard Products. So we've got 10 different scents in four different products. That is 40 products overall I've been using for about the last month and a half or so on a daily basis. And so again, this is one of the largest reviews I've done to date. And I gotta say, I'm gonna cut to the chase on this company. Thumbs up. Super, super impressed with Barbudo. I mean, just the quality in all this, maybe it's just me, it just jives with my beard. But this stuff is top notch, A plus quality products. And so we've got beard oils to look at. We've got beard butters, beard balms, as well as some mustache wax, AKA the mustache grease. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at each of those. We've got 10 different scents to go through. Before we do that, let's talk about pricing real quick. We do have a discount code. It is COVID, C-O-V-I-D, 2020. That's gonna get you 20% off of these prices. Again, that's COVID, C-O-V-I-D, 2020. It's gonna take 20% off. So their beard oil, one ounce beard oil goes for 18. Two ounce beard balm goes for 20. Their beard butter, which they call mentega, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, goes for 16. And then their mustache wax goes for six. And that's a half ounce container. Um, two ounces of the butter as well as the balm, one ounce oil. I love that they have matching scents for everything. So you can go get your matching beard oil, your beard butter, your beard balm, your mustache grease, it all syncs up. Now, another thing I really love about this company are the names of each of these products. So if you're not familiar, take a look at that logo again. That is an old Wild West character right there. Same logo I have on my shirt here. Now, I can't tell you how much I love a beard company that puts out a colored shirt other than black. I've got so many black shirts in my closet these days. I love these bright colors. This is great. A plus again. So let's talk scents. We've got 10 to go through. First one up, we have Hoodoo. And so all their labels here, the beard oil labels, it's a nice paper, um, not paper, but you know what I mean. It's oil proof, feels good. Brown bottle, dropper top. This is the Hoodoo. Hoodoo, hoodoo, hoodoo. Uh, hoodoo is pipe tobacco and mahogany. And so, whew, it comes with that pipe tobacco. You can definitely smell that. It's not bitter. It's like a smooth pipe tobacco. It's very much a pipe tobacco and not a traditional tobacco. And then the mahogany just layers on a very classy scent on top of that. Yeah, this is a good one. All these scents, in my opinion, are really good. That was one of the things that this is probably one of my new favorite companies. Um, that is the Hoodoo, Pipe Tobacco and Mahogany. Now, scent duration on all of these, about six to eight hours I was getting. Um, second up, we've got Sundance. And so Sundance is coconut, papaya, lemongrass, and cacao. Um, is it cacao or cacao? <laughs> so, woo. Straight coconut, you get like a coconut lemongrass scent. I get mostly coconut and lemongrass, maybe a little bit of papaya in there for sweetness. And maybe it's the cacao is what I'm smelling, kind of that chocolatey. It's a good scent, very summery type scent. This definitely reminds me of like a warm weather summer scent. So that is the poncho, or I'm sorry, poncho is up next. That was the Sundance. So. Next up, we've got Poncho. Again, all of these are named after Wild West characters. I think that is so cool. You go to their website, I'll definitely recommend you do that. BarbudoBeardProducts.com, I'll link that below. They've actually got a little story on each of these scents on their, their Wild West character, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so next we got Poncho, which is gonna be Bay Rum, Cedar, and Amber. So I love that they didn't just do a Bay Rum scent. They threw in that Cedar and Amber to make it something a little bit different. Um, oh man, you get, you get some Bay Rum, 
And I get that amber and it kind of finishes off with cedar. It's a very unique scent. Man, these are good. Yeah, I, this is genuinely, I think, very highly of all these scents. They're just put together. They're not your basic boring scents. It's not like two ingredients mixed together and that's it. Um, these are very well done, well thought out. Um, you know, they're, they're complex, but they're not overly complex where you don't know what you're smelling. Next up, we've got Curly. So Curly is vanilla, oak, and mahogany. And so kind of a simple ingredients, but when you smell it, it's not simple. I've smelled vanilla, oak, and mahogany from other companies, and it just smells kind of basic. This is quite exquisite. It's, oh, it smells kind of like a rich man's cologne, to be honest with you, or what I think one would smell like. <laughs> oh man, that's good. It's just subtle, smooth. Um, next up, we have one of their seasonal scents. This is called The Kid. This is their spring summer scent. Uh, this is grass and fig. And they nailed this one. This smells to me like I just got done mowing the grass. It's just a very grassy. Get a little bit of sweetness from the fig. Just an overall great seasonal scent. This, this is something like I would crave during warmer weather. Um, you know, scents like that. All right, up next we got Butch. So Butch is lemongrass, birchwood, and oud. You know I love my oud. And so with the Butch, you get a lot of that birchwood and lemongrass up front and kind of that clean oud scent. It's, to me, this is not very heavy on oud. It's very heavy on the, the mahogany and the birchwood. I'm sorry, the lemongrass and birchwood. Mm, it is good though. It's a very, very smooth scent. Again, this is one, a year, great year round scent. All right, making our way through, we've got Porter. Porter is one of my favorite scents of theirs. So Porter is hot lather shaving cream scent. So I love going to the barber. Obviously I don't have much hair up here anymore, so I'm not getting that cut too often, but I do love to go get a beard trim, maybe a head shave every now and then. But I love that hot lather shaving cream and Porter smells exactly like it. Oh, it's so good. And this is a strong one. This is almost like a cologne to me. This is almost like a, when I first put it on, I didn't look at any of the ingredients or look at any of the, um, speaking of ingredients, we should probably look at those. Uh, I didn't look at any of the different, you know, the scent profiles of it. And I was like, wow, that's a really good cologne. But once I saw it, it really is hot lather shaving cream, like a cologne version of it. And so we'll talk about all the ingredients in these in just a minute. Next up, we've got Doc. Now Doc's gonna be bergamot, cedar, amber, and black tea. Now this one, I get black tea first. Yeah, it's a very interesting scent. I get a little bit of the cedar and the amber and the bergamot a little bit. This is a very good scent, very exquisite. This is a great year round. Almost could be like a light cologne. Um, Doc is, I think, a very, very good scent. I've worn this several times, really enjoyed it. All right, next up, we've got another one of their seasonals. This is Hardin. This is their spring summer edition. It's gonna be lavender, ginger, and lime. And so I'm traditionally not a lavender fan, but I was really surprised by this one. Oh, I get, I get the lime and the ginger. Um, I love lime scents. I grew up, my dad wore lime scents as a kid, and I just, you know, remember all that. And so you get the lime and the ginger and just a little bit of lavender in there. It's not overly pronounced. It's good. This is a great, great summer scent. Again, I'm going to wear the heck out of this this summer. All right, next up, we've got last but not least, Dallas. Again, I would highly suggest you go to their website and check out the little profiles they have on each of these scents. I love the fact they've done that with the different Wild West characters. We see so many skulls and crossbones in the beard world, so many different like variations of the th same theme. I love that they went with Wild West characters. So that is something new and unique and the fact they have a little bit about each one is really cool. And so Dallas is gonna be juniper, sage, and bamboo. 
Oh, I get the juniper and the bamboo. This, for some reason, this is so weird. This reminds me of a copper tone sunscreen that my parents would buy as kids. Anytime we went to the beach or the pool or whatnot, they'd put the same copper tone. I forget what it's like, cop, like a regular copper tone sunscreen. It came in a brown bottle. Like I vividly remember that. And this is what this Dallas smells like to me. And I love it. Again, it's a great summer memory. Oh, this is a good one. This is another good one. So all of these beard oils, the ingredients are going to be argon oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, rice bran oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E oil, and then the fragrance oil. So um, all of these are awesome. Let's go ahead and throw one in beard. Let's, uh, let's go with Harden. Harden again is that summer seasonal, the lavender, ginger, and lime. Oop, spilling. Got a light golden color there. It's a solid medium weight oil. Oh man, it just smells so good. It's so fresh. Man, it reminds me of, it's almost like a lemon lime soda a little bit, but just refreshing. Get the comb through. So next up, let's talk about the Beard Balm. So I've got that pulled out in the Harden as well. I've actually been saving this one. I think this is the only Beard Balm of theirs I have not used or used yet. So Beard Balm ingredients are going to be beeswax, shea butter, cocoa butter, lanolin. I love lanolin and beard products. Argon oil, avocado oil, jojoba, sweet almond oil, rice bran oil, hemp oil, glycerin, vitamin E, and fragrance oils. So... What I love about this, let me show you how it scoops out. It's not too hard to get out. And we're just gonna throw it all in beard tonight. We're gonna go crazy. It melts down very smooth. No grit. This has got a good medium hold on it. It's not overly stiff. Definitely it keeps my flyaways tame during the day. Get some on the arms there. Dude, this hardened scent might be my go-to this summer. It smells that good. It's usually one or two companies every summer. They make just a great summer scent um, that I wear more than others. And this one right now is probably in the running to be that scent. And so. That is the Beard Balm. Again, medium hold, definitely keeps the beard in place, but still keeping it soft. It's not overly waxy, overly, you know, it doesn't feel horrible in beard. I know a lot of you guys get away from Beard Balm sometimes. This is a good one. Definitely would recommend them. All right, let's talk about their Beard Butter, which they call their Mantega. I am probably saying that so wrong, but Mantega is, it appears to be a whipped butter. Um, the ingredients on this one are cocoa butter, shea butter, lanolin, argon, avocado, jojoba, hemp seed, sweet almond, rice bran, vitamin E, uh, oils. And so with that fragrance as well, so you can get in there, it comes right out. Now I've been wearing the heck out of their butters. And since we are in this whole quarantine, I've been using a ton of these butters. I should be throwing them in in the morning. <laughs> and so just me and myself working. So, but the butter here, we'll go ahead and throw it in beard. Why not? Smells just like it. What I love about this butter, it gets my beard super soft. I went one day without using their butter. And was like, whoa, 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 what's missing here? Hold on. It just feels great. Just looked at the time on this video. We're going for the long haul today. All right, let's, let's wrap things up. We got one more product. Again, that was that beard butter we just looked at. Highly recommend that as well. Now, no beard review would be complete without some mustache grease. Um, I love that you could get this 
in all of their other scents as well. I think that's pretty cool. They make a, a mustache grease for every matching scent. Just pulling off a barcode there so I can show you the ingredients. So ingredients are gonna be beeswax, lanolin, shea butter, argon, avocado, jojoba, sweet almond, rice bran, and vitamin E. All right, let's throw some of this in as well. This is a nice firm hold mustache wax. This is not a mustache wax that you're gonna style all day handlebars with, but it is a solid, solid firm hold. Um, gives you, I guess it just depends on how much you use. I kind of got a lot there, so hey, we'll throw it all in. Show you what the stash can do. Yeah, it melts down pretty easy. Typically with mustache waxes, you do have to work to melt them down. You do sometimes get little clumps in there. But it definitely gives you a good style. And what I like about it, it doesn't give you that kind of fake, phony looking. It's a kind of a natural mustache wax. If that makes sense. You guys that use mustache waxes will probably understand that. But if I wanted to do like all day handlebars with this, I probably would get something or use an additional product to it. I mean, you can still handlebar, but I like to go kind of that more natural. It's a good mustache wax though. I'll need to do a top five mustache waxes one of these days. See if we can get the uh, yeah, it's solid. It's a good. I feel like I'm I'm in the wild west of the stash I got going. I like to comb it down. There we go, guys. Styling and profiling with Barbudo. So great products overall. Very, very impressed with this company. They are definitely one of my new favorite companies. Um, glad to have discovered them. They are based out of Utah, I believe. Haven't talked a ton with the owner. Um, from what I understand, he's an awesome guy. Just, I think both of us have been very busy with everything going on, and you know, very, very excited to bring you this review, though. I. I'm genuinely very excited about these products and can't wait to try them out. Um, several of these scents really knocked my socks off. Very impressed with all of them. But overall, just a very, very good company. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe even go share this video. Who knows? I don't ask that very often. Do appreciate everything you guys do. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about Barbudo beard products. And let me know if you've read any of the stories about their different characters or the different scents they have. I think it's really cool that they've done that. And so as always, guys, God bless you. Take care of yourselves and we'll talk soon.